hello oh I gotta find my camera I have a new camera and actually I don't know if I can zoom better I don't have it as close on my face as I did with the other one so I'm still learning it should be exactly the same as this one but we'll find out um, if you've been watching for a while you notice that if periodically the face camera would freeze it was a different camera I had gotten it before I even uh, started streaming in July so it it just wasn't happy uh, when it got moved and I actually got to send it back to the company and get my money back and I bought this one which I've had such good luck with on the arm I'm hoping that I'll have good luck with it for this one so anyway hi welcome to Thursday again I have to say I am NOT going to be spinning today or teaching anything about spinning I'm still on the deadline it does almost done it's gonna go out the door on Friday which is tomorrow and get mailed and be gone and as you can see it's the Christmas stocking and so I have gotten it done and yes it turned out big 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 but I'm just going to write the recipient and say okay since you have six dogs and a cat just fill it up with treats for them on Christmas and you'll have plenty of room for your boxes of um, what are the dog treats the bone I, I can't think what it's called but because I don't have a dog but you know what bone the bones that you can give them as treats or whatever I hope she likes it this was quite an experience knitting out of my hand spun yarn first of all I truly truly played yarn chicken uh, this right here is what I have left of the hand spun white <laughs> that I did it out of so it just oh man I really really had a problem now I did know that the green was going to run really short too and I needed a little bit left to make the loop which is what I'm going to do here in a minute um, it's going to be right here um, out of eye cord and so since I wanted to save a little bit I did do this much of the toe in white and so we got a little little tiny toe but it's still I think it looks really good with the green accents the white the cabling I am very very happy with it so let's get to making some eye cord for this let's see what I got here I think I'm gonna start on the other end of this <clears throat> Yeah, there we go. Let's get it off of this wonderful holder. I cord usually is made with three. I'm gonna make it. This is a pretty big, heavy stocking. I'm gonna make it either five or six. I'll see what it looks like when I cast it on. Cause I want it wider. Maybe eight. Fortunately, I don't have to. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's not wide enough. Six, seven, eight. It's not too bad. I think that'll be all right. <clears throat> now, I, if you're not familiar with I-cord, it, it is knitting a tube basically so your first row is just knit like you regularly do and then you slip it down to the other end this is why you have to use double pointed needles and you start knitting again and you will see that what you do is bring your yarn see that back over there you're just bringing it all the way behind there and knitting with that yarn behind there it's going to eventually curl up some because of that yarn being stretched behind the back 
and make your tube. So all I have to do is keep knitting this until I have enough folded over that would look like a good hanger loop for the stocking. I'm going to get a little more comfortable here. Probably should have the white so you can see what I'm knitting. Does that help a little bit? I have felt so pressured this week. I thought all of these pressures were going to go away after the weather changed and I was more time inside, but my goodness, to get this all done. I have till the 31st of this month to mail it, but my own personal deadline is this week for a reason we are going to start uh we are going to travel out of town on the 31st and be gone for a while and speaking of which i will be saying it repeatedly but i will be not be streaming for at least uh four streams hopefully not more but while we travel anyway that was my personal deadline because I didn't want to have to mail it right as we were leaving I in the camera But I have, it just doesn't stop because as soon as I get this done, tomorrow and Saturday, I need to edit and release two breed review podcasts. And then I need to start gathering, packing, um, buying a few things that need to be here at the house for like the cat and that sort of thing and what we take with us. Need to go vote. You know, it's just endless. Endless era, deadlines and errands. Fortunately, we can vote early. I, I actually would not have been able to vote if I had to go vote on Election Day because um, the reason we're leaving town is my mother needs a procedure and she wants it she wants me to be there with her when she has it done and it's on Election Day. So I would not have been able to vote on Election Day. I must admit, I am very anxious to see my mom. I haven't seen her since February. Once I get this long enough, of course I fold it in half. Whoops, almost turned it. And sew in the two ends to make the hanger and then the stocking is done and i have another knitting project that i'm wanting to finish to put in as a stocking stuffer so i'm gonna show you that too because it's hand spun yarn also one of the nice things is this gift is going to a spinner so they most certainly will appreciate having the hand item made out of the hand spun yarn I, I know that for sure
So this won't take but a couple minutes as I get it big enough to long enough to fold in half and be a hanger for the stocking. I-Cord was developed by Elizabeth Zimmerman, who, of course, is a legend in the knitting world. And the I stands for idiot because it was uh, something she just happened to come across. And, you know, she said, it's so simple. I was an idiot not to think of it sooner, which she can get away with saying she was not an idiot by any many any means I have several books of her knitting writings and patterns and stuff but to be honest I have not made any of her knitting patterns and the surprise jacket I have to watch how much yarn I have here the surprise jacket is one that is on my list for knitting with natural colored hand spun wool. I just haven't specifically been spinning or gathering those because they take, it's like I need it from a fleece, right? I need at least 400 yards of various different colors. So probably pretty close to the 15-1600 yard figure to knit it. No, not quite. I'm going to run out of yarn. Let's see what I do have something to to sew this with, don't I? Yes, right there. That's what I got to sew it with if I need to. I told you, I just barely had enough of this. Both colors. But then I didn't spin it specifically for this stocking. I went through my stash and found the two whites and the green and put it together. The one thing about knitting with hand spun, okay, so this had the wraps per inch gauge that the pattern called for, but knitting with hand spun has always been tricky. It doesn't match commercial wraps per inch at all. Um, and I did do some gauge checking when I first was in the pattern because the gauge was in the pattern and I was saying, okay, this, this is hitting gauge and I stuck with my size five needles, but it just seems like the stocking kept getting bigger and bigger as I was knitting. And I don't believe it has to do, first of all, I believe the pattern itself is very big. But second of all, it has to do with the fact that nine wraps per inch commercial yarn and nine wraps per inch hand spun yarn are both, uh-oh, uh let's see. I'm going to have to cast that off. I don't know if I have enough left over. Um, what I was saying was nine wraps per inch and and... Um, commercial yarn and nine wraps per inch of hand spun. Hand spun is so much more denser that it's like more like you know an eight or seven. It's way bulkier is what I'm trying to say. All right, I'm gonna have to take one row off here because I don't have enough to bind it off. Forgot I had to bind it off.
eight stitches. My goodness. That was kind of complicated. All right, I'm going to bind it off on the pearl rose so that I'm using it back here where it's at, where the yarn's at, instead of wrapping it across. I did seriously think about looking for some ribbon. And if I'm not 100% happy with this as the hanging cord, I will go pursue that and see if I can find some ribbon. But thought it was worth a shot to try and see if I could get one out of the green, which would match 100%. There we go. Come on. Now I've got to put it on this side. Get my needle. I hate sewing things on. I'm not. All right. Let me take this underneath. I'm going to try and sew it on the outside here. I don't know if you can see. Just like this. And doesn't look like I'm going to need to use the little bit that I have left. I can, I don't know, put that in the archives of history about how close I came to running out of yarn. Let's leave that to tie in a knot. Let's take this inside. Do the same thing and we'll have a hanger.
goes by. There it is. Okay. I have to remember to take a picture of this. Right, I'm going to tie it, one knot, and then I'm going to try and pull that to the inside where it's folded down for the cuff and let's see if I can get it to pull both of these in there. I may have to thread both separately. on in there. I need a crochet hook. That's what I need. Maybe I can get it without it. I'm going to use a crochet hook. I have one. There we go. Tie it again on the back and it is done. It is done. That works. That works. Can't see it. That works. And this is what was left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me put my needle away. Okay, now what I'm making right now to finish up, it's a really quick mug wrap and it's actually too wide for this mug. It was It's a 20 stitch pattern. This is the mug I bought to send with her. Send with it. And that's just not going to work. So I am going to take that out. I should have checked that before, but I just got the mug yesterday. So I am going to go to go down two needle sizes. Fortunately, it's a 12 row pattern. It's basically 60 rows. I did not think that that was too wide though. That surprises me. Today has been full of surprises. When I got my new camera, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. I thought for sure the camera was bad. And then I finally figured out that I needed to change the settings in Streamlabs, which is what I 
do the live stream from to l look at the camera. <laughs> so it was such a simple thing, you know. Uh, idiot cord. <laughs> it was such a simple thing. This is Hensman alpaca that I'm using. And you can see it has a, a redder color to it. It's not red red, but it's definitely not the... Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I had to sneeze, and I think that was the alpaca. <laughs> okay. We are going to change to size 5 with this. I was using 7. And I have my pattern here. And I have the mug, so I can double check as I work, make sure that I'm getting it tight enough. definitely knit a little tighter but that looks like it might be better and I have to knit three rows to start here It's interesting because this um, wraps per inch on this um, alpaca is the same as it was for the wool for the stocking, and I really thought that I would need the larger needle to get the width for the mug. It was kind of hard to find a Christmas mug. I, you know, for all they say that they put Christmas stuff out early, um, I, it really wasn't very easy to find a Christmas mug. There's not a whole bunch out. I saw them setting up a Christmas display. The Halloween display, of course, is decimated and um, on, on sale, but... Christmas isn't quite up yet. I have to make sure I put a picture of this stocking on the Discord. have a discord channel and I have a place for your projects all right this is row three Well, it's exactly 30 minutes, so it'll be interesting to see how quick this knits up. I can watch my time. I'm not going to try necessarily to finish it today, although it would have been a nice thing if that had happened. But obviously I did not have the right size knitting needles. I don't even know what it called for in here. Yeah, it called for the seven. So, 
and it was um, the yarn was Superwash Merino, but I don't really know what its wraps per inch is. I actually think it might be thinner than this. All right, let me get, um, hmm, can I reach it? Yeah. I have a row counter, but to be honest with you, this is just as easy. This is just a standard lace pattern. uses slips of knits and knit two together yarn overs what I liked about the pattern was the fact that it has a loop and a button so that you can set your button to fit uh, the mug The only thing that throws me on this first row, it has a yarn over and then a purl. You have to wrap your yarn twice in order to get a yarn over and then do a purl stitch. And the first time I did that row, I did, I, of course, I didn't do it right and didn't have the yarn over. And it was like, why didn't I, what, did I forget to do that yarn over? Why did I forget to do that yarn over? It took me the next time through, and it's only on the first row, it took me the next time to do it next time. And I realized that, oh, that's why, because when you yarn over and then purl, you have to wrap it twice because of the way you're throwing your yarn to purl. Hi, RoboBabe. Good to see you. How are you today? Are you working? Are you on break? Oh my goodness, yeah. Your, your phone isn't working. You work on your phone instead of a, a laptop, desktop? Are you taking, uh, taking calls? You know, like um, service calls or whatever. What am I trying to say? But I'm glad you have a day off. That's nice. Yeah, it's call center. Yeah. Alright, let's see if this is 
looking a little better width-wise. It's still a little big. But I'm not going to go down another needle size. Oh, you still have to sit at your desk? Yeah. Well, maybe they're working on the phone will work again. Well, I'm glad you could join me. You're getting paid to craft. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. That's a good feeling, isn't it? There's a lot of people that are on Zoom meetings. I know they're knitting. They say. I don't know that. They say. I am trying to do a mug warmer. I'm ending, it's ending up bigger than I wanted, wider. But I like the pattern, so maybe I'll hem it. I don't know. It's on a really soft, handspun alpaca. And it's a little fuzzy. No, I haven't. I'm sorry. I haven't been on Discord today. Or for a while. Let me go look here real quick. Oh, it's, oh, wow. <laughs> it's long, isn't it? But that's so pretty. I like the stripes. Yeah. Is it, does it, uh, gonna, is it gonna be big? Around? And why'd you put it on your hand instead of your, uh, foot? But yes, in answer to your question, my socks are long. A lot of times the, uh, foot, the, not the foot part, but the, uh, up from the heel to the cuff is long. Oh, well, yeah. So, that's why you didn't put it on your foot. You needed it. It is big. You're right. It's not for you. It's for him. I forgot that. You told me that.
Well, the Christmas stocking is done, as you can see on the camera, and it's big. But I tend to make big ones anyway. I think it's more the pattern. It's a little bit the hand spun yarn. But a lot of it is the pattern for Christmas stockings tend to run really big now. Because I've, I've pretty much knit one every year for about, oh my goodness, 10 years, I think. So you've started the second one. Yeah, that's good. Actually, for as big as it is, it went fast for you. Yeah, your second one's going quicker. If that's you got the general idea what's coming next, and you got the uh, throwing, changing between knit and purl figured out. All right. Okay, frogging your projects like 10 times makes it go faster. Oh, okay. You, It's not frogging it 10 times, it's re-knitting it 10 times that makes it feel faster. <laughs> That's what gave you the practice.
Okay, I've done one repeat of the pattern. It says I'm supposed to do five repeats. I'll have to check it on the mug here and see. Extra twisty from spinning or extra twisty because you're uh, as you're knitting with commercial yarn. Okay. You know, this has a little edge on the thing. I might just fold that edge under, tack it down, make it a little narrower. That would be about perfect if I did that. Might even look a little more finished. And I think I'm going to need more than five more repeats. But it's a, it's a big mug. It's a real big mug. The reason I like um, this pattern is because it uses a button and I can fit it to the mug and so I really want to keep with this pattern okay so it's spinning it's, it's twisting up as you are knitting well usually that happens when you're changing colors I have a lot of trouble with it twisting up when I'm changing colors uh, you know color work but if you're just knitting straight And you're knitting on, are you knitting on circular? You're knitting on double pointed. So it has to do with the fact that you're going like this, you know, turning your sock, right? You just keep turning the same way. And you might have to figure out a way that when you want to go to the next needle, next needle, next needle. I think sometimes when I am knitting with double pointed needles, I don't realize it. I go the other, I go counterclockwise and straighten things out and start with the needle that I was going to go to next. I um, I think I do it without even thinking about it. Okay, I got, I got to go back. I put one extra yarn over in this row. I'm paying attention here.
it's nice that every other row on this is just knit and purl. Very typical with lace work and really important. It helps you count your stitches, make sure that you did your yarn overs right and you've got the right number of stitches still by doing a row where you don't have any pattern work. <laughs> yeah, it's color works an experience. Gotta have some patience. This is the first year I haven't done color work in the Christmas stocking that I usually make. Oh boy, two work, two color cable crochet. Yeah, that's my goodness. I do so much more knitting than I do crocheting. Unfortunately, this will not get finished and 
shown on the live stream is finished, which I really hoped it would, but I will finish it off stream today. The package has to go in the mail tomorrow. So, I'll take a picture before I send it off. It's not going to take too long. It's just that I worked on doing the hanger of the stocking at the first 30 minutes of the live stream, so that took up all that. And then I decided to take out what I had knitted and start over. <laughs> so I've been knitting on this for 30 minutes, and that's all. Two more rows. I will have two repeats. I want to show the kind of button I want to use.
count these and let's count. Two, four, six. Not a stitch. All right, so I have two repeats of the pattern, and Robo Babe, if you have your eyes on the camera, this white and green, I played chicken. With, that's what I have left from when I was knitting the stocking, from what I spun. <laughs> Talk about just, just making it. And, uh, I can't see it very well. There's the pattern on the, the lace pattern for the mug cover. Pretty little pattern. And, like I said, I'm... It's looking like it's going to be a little too wide, and there's a two-knit stitch on each side. And I think I'm going to fold that under and tack it down and make it a little, um, you know, a little more finished edge. And that'll just about take it to the right. It might widen up a little bit if I steam it. I don't know if I'll steam it or not. Yes, I know. I don't usually play yarn chicken that way either. But generally, I, I did have a plan B. I was going to take a third color, do the last of the toe of it, and do an edging around the top with the third color if I really, truly didn't make it. But I made it. I made it. I want to show something that I have that's really cool. I have a button jar here. This actual antique jar was given to me as a wedding present, as an antique. It's unusual that there's uh you give a wedding present an antique as a wedding present but it the lady was a friend she was an antique dealer she had a store and so she knew i loved old stuff like this and i love this jar but what i have in here are wood button there it's all wood well, a lot of them have been cut out by i think woodworkers or whatever i bought the wood buttons at um, a um, sale or auction or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, this is the pattern calls for a button, and I thought it would be really cool to put on a wood button on the there. It makes a you knit a loop that goes around it, so you'd sew that on there, and then you could loop that on there. You can move this if you really want to so that it fits different mugs you'd have to un you know cut it off and re-sew it but you can set that any place you want and i just i have some really interesting wood buttons i have a lot of the square ones they are dyed different colors i got round ones this one has scotty dogs on it i really should use that one for her because she has six dogs I think she would love that and I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm gonna use I'm gonna leave it out anyway and I have a heart which is too small I have white ones so this this whole thing was so much fun as uh, uh, first of all the fact that I keep it in this antique jar and second of all I just I love these wood buttons and have different sizes and We'll be able to use them for many different things. And as I showed you, 
Oh, a whole jar full of them. I probably won't use those up forever. Yeah, I'm going to use the, the Scotty Dog one. I had forgotten that was in there, and that is probably the best one ever. There's another one. You can see it's a little different color. No, maybe not. I do have other ones. I have some that look like uh, nutshells. There, it's a walnut shell. It's not really, but... And it sews weird. It sews through the two holes at the top, but then through the back. It looks just like a nut, doesn't it? Yeah. I got... Um, beads. <laughs> Wood beads. Oh, and that one's gone. I'll have to get that from the floor. I have some that look like they're cut from... The grain, and you've got grain of wood and the bark on the outside. Fun, isn't it? So anyway, yeah, that's what is going to finish this up. It's going to go around that mug and go as a stocking stuffer for the recipient of the Christmas stocking. So anyway, it's okay. I got to go too. Thank you, RoboBabe, for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody who checks this out as a VOD and watches it on demand. I hope that you have learned a little bit about making an eye cord, putting a hanger on a stocking, and just in general, some of the things that come about when you're knitting with hand-spun yarn. So until later, happy knitting with handspun. See you on Sunday afternoon. Bye.